Welcome to the Intermediate Website Updates training video number 6, Image Properties. In this short video we're going to look at how to edit the properties of an image, how to rotate an image and how to resize an image. Okay, let's just minimize this out of the way and here we are at our website style 9 that we've been working on all the way through these videos. I'm going to visit the dashboard and from the dashboard I'm going to go to the media library. Okay so we already have quite a few images up here but let's upload a few more. I'm going to go to the add new button and I'm going to click select files. And if you remember I said in the last video that once you had gone to a certain folder, that's the our uploads folder that we had made, once we'd been there once, the next time we go from this website to do an an upload of an image or of a PDF file or wherever it would naturally first go back to the uploads folder itself and here we are again straight back to the folder so as long as we put our new things in the uploads folder we'll be straight there each time okay I've got some visits to a Minster images and I'm just going to upload a few of those and you see there's a a really good variety of images just here. However, if you look a little bit more closely, you'll see that some of these images that have come in need a little work on them. So, I'm going to click on one, and you can see that the orientation of this image is incorrect. The people are standing horizontally. So I'm going to click on Edit Image, and I'm going to rotate that image and then click Save. Okay looking at this image that we've just rotated we can see there are more details on the right hand side here which we can update if we wanted to. Now you can see that there isn't any alt text in this image. The alt text is the text that will be read by a screen reader if someone is wanting to understand about a web page from the point of view of using an audio software to tell the person what is on the website. So here we could just simply take a hold of the year 5 visit and we can copy and paste that into there and then you can see the word saved briefly appeared up here. Let me just do that again. Let me add in hit enter and you can see I caught it in time this time the word saved appears. So we've just updated the alt text as well. Let's go through again. That image is fine. That image is fine. This one needs rotating so click edit image let's rotate it if we wanted to you can flip the images as well which is a 180 degree flip rather than the 90 degree you get the undo and redo button and you can have a crop image here as well save that let's go to add the old text into there so now we have a whole series of files put in the correct orientation. There's the one there that I've missed. Edit that image and save that one. All with the correct orientation are ready to be put into a blog post. Let's look at this image and let's go to edit image again. It's currently 598 pixels by 448 pixels. Let's say I wanted to permanently reduce the size of this one. If I type in 300 there, it naturally maintains the aspect ratio. I can click scale and then I can come out of there and that image has now been scaled down to size. And that's how to change the details change the orientation by rotating the image and how to resize and scale an image 
inside the media library. Okay, thanks for watching.